Hey, what's up guys? So for those of you that are following along on this little project, um, I finally got my turbos back together, back in uh, with the new manifolds and the new uh, turbo adapters. And now I'm putting in the, the radiator today. So um, this is a unit from Full Race. I think I'll kind of show you guys some, um, some differences, you know, compare it to the OEM right there, to the OEM radiator and kind of show you uh, what, you're, what you're getting for your money. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna do an install video. There's tons of videos on how to um, install a radiator on, an, on one of these F-150s out there on YouTube. Um, and, but I might give you some tips and tricks on things that, that helped me. And, um, and I'll show you how it fits in the truck. So, all right, let's do it. All right, so here it is. This is a 10 to 14 EcoBoost radiator from Full Race. They obviously make uh, radiators for other engine choices and other model years. So uh, if you're interested, check out uh, their website. I'm sure they'll, they'll be able to help you out. But um, so I first wanted to start by comparing the Full Race unit to the OEM unit down here. It's nice and dirty, as you can see. Just, just came out of the truck. Um, the main difference uh, performance wise is going to be the uh, thickness so this is going to be 42 millimeters thick and it's going to be two cores and this is 20 the OEM one is 22 millimeters thick and only a single core so the theory is the thicker the uh, radiator the more you'll be able to transfer heat so that's why um, that specification is uh, so important um, among that you can see other differences for instance um, you can see the plastic end tanks on the OEM unit and the welded aluminum and, and nicely polished ones on the uh, full race here. Um, according to the internet, the aluminum end tanks are um, more robust and likely to uh, to fail less often. I guess I guess the plastic ones get brittle. Um, they can crack and leak. Um, they can also I don't know get hit by rocks and stuff like that. Um, but I was thinking that. The aluminum end tank should also help you dissipate more, more energy just because the uh, specific heat capacity of aluminum is greater than that of plastic, I believe. So um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, anyone. But, so that should, that should also help. Um, it, also, it also just looks very visually appealing. So I know it'll kind of get buried in the engine, but um, it, is, it is kind of a nice piece to look at. So what else is different? Um, you can see here a radiator cap. That's going to be super nice when we go to fill up the radiator. Um, we can just fill it directly um, directly into it instead of like going through like the uh, the, res the overflow reservoir or um, the expansion tank I think is what it's technically called. So it'll be super nice to fill it up right there and uh, we can just keep dumping coolant into it until um, until it's full and while the system's running. So that's that's pretty nice. So one more thing I wanted to mention, um, it's fairly obvious, but uh, the full race radiator has these uh, vertical straps built into it, and um, that's supposed to give it a stronger construction and make it more durable and rigid. So um, that's just a nice little, nice little feature that they added there. Okay, so next couple things. Um, this came with, it came with two, I guess these are lower radiator tube connectors. Um, all I did is I, I looked at my OEM unit, and I'm already spilling ATF all over the ground. But um, my, my low radiator tube connector looks like that, so that should be a good match. That just must be for a different engine choice. So we'll get that out of the way. And so all you do is thread that in, and then you'll snug it up later. The kit also comes with two little pieces of hardware. I'll zoom in on them right here. Um, and they're both, they both work together. So the little one, if it focuses, kind of, the little one would replace this connector here. And I guess, um, I guess this is in case you want to uh, change where your, you know, overflow tank um, is going or expansion tank. So in my case, I'm going to leave it in the stock location because I'm using the stock uh, um, expansion tank 
And so I guess if you did want to swap the other way, you would take off this, um, this barbed fitting and you put in this like this cap kind of this plug. So that, that would go right there. So, but I, I'm not, I'm going to have to use the small one because I'm going to have to take this, this little guy off here and put in the plug because um, I just don't, I just don't need this other, uh, this other connector here. All right, so with the old radiator already out, the only thing I have left to do is install it. Um, as far as getting the old one out, it wasn't too bad. Again, just follow uh, one of the many videos out there on how to do it. Um, it's a little bit tight in, in places, but um, not horrible compared to like, you know, taking your turbos in and out. So I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated on any, um, any tips I have um, or anything that might be helpful specifically for this uh, full race unit. So, all right. So right away, um, make sure you reuse your OEM grommets. They're located down here at the bottom of the radiator on the sides. You just pull them off. And those will go um, on the equivalent spot on the uh, on the new radiator. So that's just something that, in case you're curious, you might want to know. Okay, the radiator is installed. You can't see it because the AC condenser is in the way. But come over here, you can see it. You can see it peeking through a little bit. I love I love this uh, this logo plate they have here. If you can kind of see that a little bit. Um, Overall, the uh, the install went pretty smoothly. Everything, everything on the full race, um, all the mounting points were were excellent. So, no issues. Um, it's obviously a little bit thicker, but I don't, it doesn't it doesn't interfere with anything down here. Um, obviously, it's a mess right now because I have other things that I'm doing at the same time, so it's not buttoned up completely. But yeah, it, it was. Um, it seems to be an excellent kit and. Um, I can't, can't wait to see what it does out in the heat while towing, um, so I'm looking forward to that. I, I, I just do also really like this too. Um, it looks, looks really nice, looks uh, purposeful. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful. I know it's not, it wasn't crazy in depth, um, but just a ge good general overview of what you get and uh, a couple little tips and tricks on how to install it. So um, like I said before, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing how this performs. And um, probably an upcoming video, you'll see you'll see a test on that. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching.